guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. I just wanted to show you the soundproof barrier I have in my room. So my door is padded. So I have these, you know, things that you carry drinks around with. Um, and then I have in each of the little cavities I have stuffed with um, foam. And so I have the same thing happening on this wall, except all around I have this three inch foam all the way around so I just took off some of the paneling so that you guys can see so yeah I mean um, if you guys have any suggestions as to how I can you know make this a little bit better and then behind the door I have these kind of like angled foam deflectors I guess so if you close the door The air conditioning sound goes away, but my son's room is right next door, and so he can be a little loud with his music. And you're hearing the birds outside. They're really loud today. My my daughter just built a little tree house in there. It's so cute, and you can kind of see there's a tree blooming white flowers. Yeah, so. Any ideas would be great. All right, cheers. Hi guys, I also just wanted to show you something really cool about my website that I just added. Um, so there's a remote viewing area. So if you click on this tab, it'll take you to this window. Um, so if you know anything about remote viewing, um, basically it's an ability to uh, see things remotely, right? So um, what you want to do is empty your mind, um, try and sit for about five minutes in, still, in stillness. Um, if any thoughts come into your mind, just dismiss them and let them go. If you get any vivid images that pop into your mind, let those images go as well. So um, when you're ready, then um, basically you click this button below, which is Target and it'll take you to an, another window and so here I have all the targets and behind each of these letters is an image so I mean if you want you can start with the first one over here um, so what you want to do is you know copy down uh, the letters and then sit with that for a little while what what feelings come to mind what vibrations do you get? Do you see or taste, a, you know, anything? And so after another five minutes, um, then you start to draw whatever, you know, sensations come to mind. So if you see a flash of silver, like, a, you know, um, kind of like, let's say a triangle silver color, um, you go ahead and draw that. Okay, so if you know, vivid images come into your mind, those are not um, what you want, okay? What you want is a, a sensation or a hint. And so, yeah, um, and when you're ready, all you do is scroll over the letter and it will um, show the image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show the first one. Oh, wow, okay, so that's kind of crazy what I saw was a flash of silver, right? And so I didn't know it was a wing, but I, I saw that image in my mind. So there you go. Yes, I did choose all of these. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of biased to it, but I mean, I, I, I made this part of the website about two weeks ago. So I honestly, I, I don't remember anything. Um, so if you go under remote viewing again, there's a shapes uh, test, a color test, and an element test. 
Um, <clears throat> so basically, you just want to guess, <clears throat> sorry, what is behind, whoa, uh, what is behind these question marks? Okay, so it could be any one of these images, right? So you, you got the idea there. Um, that was a diamond. Okay, and so the same goes for colors and for elements. So yeah, test your remote viewing ability and um, I think I might put a little comment section um, below on the main page if you wanted to comment. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, cheers. Welcome Divine Masculine. Uh, so this is going to be a Yang reading for um, May the 23rd until the 30th. Hope you're all doing well. Um, so I think I'm going to do a split crossroads. Um, and I think I'll just use my cards for that. So I'll pull the cards first and then I'll go through the positions. Okay. So this is how feels about himself, how he feels about the feminine, um, what he wants the feminine to know, what's at the heart, uh, what is how he feels about the relationship, uh, what's the challenge, and what's the advice. Oh, went off camera there. Let me just do that. Okay. Okay, so the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's look at the overall energy from the bottom of the deck. So, wow, um, so the judgment card, Grand Awakening. So the masculine is realizing his power that um, most of his life he's been living an illusion. Um, you know, he's been putting a lot of work and effort forth into gaining material wealth. You know, he's building up the ego and then he realizes that the ego has been in control all of this time and so he's disconnecting from that energy. Um, he's seeing the truth. Uh, this could also mean that he's making a judgment call, but this is hearing the calling, grand awakening major illumination and this also points to new beginnings so the chains have come off it's such a freeing energy to be in all right so just adjust the light a little bit i've added an extra light here because the twin flame reading was a bit dark but this is creating a lot of glow isn't it oh Oh, sorry, I should have been playing this with this before I started. Okay, well, let's start. So, how does the masculine feel about himself? The hermit. So, this is somebody who's unchained, again, talking about that energy over there. Um, you know, feeling free, unencumbered by the 3D reality. He is on a spiritual journey. Um... He is acquiring wisdom, um, you know, he's thinking about philosophical questions, why are we here, what are we meant to do, and he could also be a light bearer as well, guiding others out of darkness. So the masculine is detached, but it's a very healthy detachment, a lot of spiritual growth. place where it's not so reflective. Maybe I'll just let it lean forward. Yeah, what the heck. Okay, so how does he feel about the feminine? <laughs> Four of Wands. Cool. So this card is showing up in the near future for the masculine in the twin flame reading. Um, now the extended reading, we saw this card showing up on the feminine side twice in the future. So we had a synchronicity happening on both sides uh, in the near future. So he wants commitment. He feels that she is his twin flame. Um, he feels this deep, loving soul connection. 
and the universe is com confirming that yes this is a twin flame connection uh, the person you th you're thinking of is your true love <laughs> sorry guys I suck okay uh, so what does he want the feminine to know Aww, heart chakra again so an extended reading the heart chakra showed up in the past position for the final outcome so he wants the feminine to know that the love that he feels for her is pure um, and it's unconditional it's uh, just love 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 oh my god it's so beautiful I was a little worried that the reading wouldn't be reflected or repeated um, you know for the individual reading the yang reading um, there was so much love coming from the twin flame reading on the masculine side and we see those exact same cards coming through beautiful what's in the heart space okay eight of swords so um, we felt this energy coming from the masculine uh, in the extended reading as well so you know it also showed up as a king of swords in the heart space so this is somebody who's locked out mentally it's an oppressive energy coming from the outside that so the feminine is locking him out emotionally or you know it's in the heart space so emotionally and mentally so you know you believe that you're locked out this is just an illusion right so that's what you're enchaining yourself from you you you're feeling unconditional love for the feminine but you you're feeling blocked and so that's just not true you can free yourself so how does he feel about the relationship six of swords so this energy was definitely felt on the feminine side she had the five of swords seven of swords so he feels that the feminine has probably walked away um, you know this is retreating from negative energy it is moving to calmer waters it is um, disconnect in this image we have him you can't see very well but there's masculine walking away in the background the feminine is kind of turned away as well uh, so in terms of relationship there's a distance there's definitely a distance there Okay, so um, challenge, kindness, compassion, the strength card. Again, this is an energy coming from the feminine side. So the challenge is to tame the beast within, to create an environment that is safe to express your emotions, to open up. Okay, so um, you know, it's kind of like the universe is saying here, you know this is the answer is to be gentle with yourself and be gentle with others you know there's a you know a feeling like okay she's locking me out so I'm gonna react right so don't react um, just continue to give unconditional love okay so the advice is a <laughs> nice six of Pentacles so this card showed up in the past it showed up um, as the final outcome uh, for the twin flame reading so it's a repeated energy okay so again this is what I was saying right be receptive be open share yourself the universe you know is giving a clear message here and that's what you end up doing you know so this is a cohabitation card as well so this is coming together in 3d reality um, yeah, but it's re reciprocation, big time. So go for it. Let go of any fears. Let go of um, any thoughts of feeling trapped or held back, right? And just you know, create that environment, that gentle environment, and go for it. All right. So I'm gonna pull one card as the final message from the universe. I'm kind of liking this Call It Baron Reed Good Tarot, so let me just pull one card from that. And of course I'm going to do the extended reading, so I'll pull three cards per position. Ace of Earth, Ace of Pentacles is the message from the universe. 
So what I saw immediately was the masculine energy, right? Being represented as this deer, um, you know, the antlers haven't fully developed, like they're not that big crown that, um, you know, adult deers have. So it feels like there's growth there, but there's this respect, there's this dignity that I'm feeling strongly with that. So let me read that for you. Uh oh, what did I do with the book? Oh, shoot. Is it right in front of my face? No. Okay, so, oh, here it is. Okay, I just want to make sure you guys can see that, all right? Okay, so, the Ace of Earth. Prosperity in its purest form. Concrete results in the physical re our physical world. Abundance made manifest. I recognize the many forms of abundance and, pl and plenty, and I align myself with success. I can generate gold from the resources I have at my fingertips. I make an impact. The essence of prosperity is taking form in the material world. Okay, so prosperity, I think that's really talking about that Six of Pentacles that keeps showing up in, you know, over and over again. Um, having this flow of abundance coming into your life and wanting to share that, you know, and so, yeah, and this is also represents a firm start in the 3D reality. Um, it's a windfall card. Uh, it represents being given a gift and then using that gift to create abundance. Um, so it's a, also a seed of intention being planted. So the universe is saying, you know, take that gift that you've been given and grow it. Right? It's time. That's what I'm feeling. Okay? So I do hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helped and I'm sending massive love your way. All right, cheers. Back masculine, this is the extended version of the Yang reading. So I'm gonna pull three cards per position for clarifiers. All right. So, how you felt about yourself was the hermit, grounded, um, spiritual quest, asking the big questions, three of pentacles, the moon, and the sun. So three of pentacles, there's that three of pentacles that kept on showing up in the twin flame reading. There's this foundation that's been laid. Uh, there is, you know, growth. There is using your talents, your skills, your abilities to generate abundance in your life. So you feel very grounded, very stable, um, but you know that there is a future ahead of you that still needs to be manifested. So the present position is the moon. So you, you feel left in the dark. You feel there's answers that need to be discovered. That's why you're the hermit. Um, this is facing your fears. You know, so pay attention to your dreams, um, pay attention to the thoughts that float into your mind. Um, those thoughts may not be your own, but um, it may be pointing to something a little deeper. You know, your subconscious mind is always speaking to you. So listen to the voice in your, your head um, and pay attention to your dreams. So the future, we have that uh, moon turning into the sun. So this is the most positive card in the deck. Uh, so it's a new beginning. It's an explosion of activity. It's freedom, um, innocence, purity returning. So yeah, we, we see the masculine moving into this extroverted masculine energy coming into this very powerful energy in the future.
Okay, so how does he feel about the feminine? The Four of Wands, the King of Fire, the Knight of Swords, and the Yang. So the King of Fire actually showed up on the feminine side in the extended reading in the past. And so what I was gathering from that is that the feminine felt, oh, just one minute. <laughs> See what I mean? It's like, um, you know, I have this soundproof room and still I can hear my daughter uh, with the door closed coming up the, the stairs. Uh, so anyway, um, any suggestions would be great. Okay, so the King of Fire was coming in the past position with the feminine, and she felt, um, you know, a little intimidated by this energy. She didn't feel like she measured up to it, right? So uh, she's having these um, self confidence issues. Okay, so you were coming in as this very powerful leadership energy in the past, okay? And so you, you, you feel very passionate, you feel um, a lot of sexual energy perhaps coming from the past. So you've been ignited. Now the Knight of Swords is an uncontrolled energy. It's just, you know, like the wind, it's back and forth. So this is somebody who is a thrill seeker, thrill, thrill seeker. Um, somebody who's a social butterfly so they are all about the conversation they also want to talk about the deep issues now what I'm feeling with this card is that you desire this union but you don't know how to get there you want to be the champion you want to reach this goal um, but right now the energy is very chaotic so the future we have a beautiful grounding coming in with the yang which is beautiful we got two yang energies the sun is masculine yang and so is the yang <laughs> uh, divine masculine um, so I mean that coupled with the the four of wands is perfect synchronicity right you need to be in this energy in order to come into union you don't want to come in as a king of fire being dominating and trying to take control of a situation, trying to um, manipulate it in a certain direction. Um, you know, we see that controlling energy as well with the night, um, but no direction. So this is somebody who has direction, who is in control of themselves. Um, they gain their power from authenticity, right? So this is all energy associated with the feminine. Right now, the masculine doesn't know which way to go. He's got, he's feeling all this passion. And then you guys just, you know, realign yourself with your, your higher self in the future. So what you want the feminine to know is the heart chakra. How beautiful. So let me just shuffle these cards again, since I had to shut off the camera. Yeah, there's always little girls in my house. Always, always. So they love to scream. They love to sing. They love to dance. You know, they're always blasting cute little songs. So, yeah, need to dampen that a little bit. Okay, so let's pull the cards here. So the heart chakra. King of Swords, the Chariot, and wow, the Eight of Swords in reverse. I actually accidentally put that back in reverse. Okay, so um, yeah, again, a repeated theme here of feeling blocked out. Now this is coming in the future, but let's go back to the past. So the King of Swords was at the heart space for the Twin Flame. Um, so this is somebody who's cut off emotionally, um, you know, he is very intellectual, um, you know, he speaks his truth, he isn't afraid to take command of a situation. So this coming in in the past, coupled with the heart chakra, what I'm feeling, you know, this is how, what he wants the feminine to know, that maybe he might have been cold hearted in the past but he's feeling love in the moment and he's coming towards you in the chariot so this is overcoming challenges not letting anything stop you 
you know, it's going after that goal um, with complete control. And so coming up across this Eight of Swords in reverse, it's like what I feel is him blasting through the gate, not feeling trapped anymore. In fact, he's opened that door. He's cut through that barrier in a very powerful way. So good. I'm kind of glad that it showed up in reverse, actually. Makes sense. Okay, so we got that Ace of Swords in the heart space. So why is that there? Okay, well, aw, Queen of Cups, wow, Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Fire. So two queens. Um, so the masculine's viewing the feminine as being, you know, fully in her feminine uh, power, right? So the queens aren't quite the kings, but what I'm seeing here is just this feminine energy. He's, re he's recognizing her as a queen, as a lady, you know, as this uh, beautiful feminine. And so the Queen of Cups is coming in the past. So this is, uh, could represent a water, fire, uh, but I, what I see here is somebody who is emotionally open, who is giving of herself, um, who is connecting at the heart in the past, and he desires to manifest that fully into the 3D reality. Now, this was also a card. You'd have to watch the extended reading, and it was coming from the feminine. But there was the same kind of feeling of being locked out um, by, by thoughts, right? Having this vision, desiring this vision, this, uh, you know, long-term goal, but being locked out. So repeated energy. Remember, this is coming in heart space. He wants this feminine, his, the object of his desires, his, the one that he feels emotionally connected to. He wants that uh, manifested, but he feels locked out. Okay, so the future, we have the Queen of Fire. Let me just shut the window. Just one moment. I'm hearing people outside. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah. Um, so the Queen of Fire is somebody who is uh, very confident. Um, they attract people into their life. They are... Um, they want to be seen. They want to be known. Okay, so... I feel that this energy transforms from an emotional connection into a more sexual, desirable um, connection in the future. So it kind of, you know, sh there's this matching of energy of, with the King of Fire in the past. Um, she becomes that um, confident queen once again. Remember, she was kind of waning in confidence. Right, so let me shuffle again. All right, so um, how he feels about the relationship is the Six of Swords, Three of Swords, the Grand Awakening card, and the Ace of Cups. So Three of Swords was um, the overall message from the universe in the basic Twin Flame reading. So the universe was saying, let go of the past, let go of the pain. Um, so in terms of relationship, there was um, a heartbreak that occurred in the past, right? And so that's why you see um, this separation, mental separation, in terms of the relationship. Now the judgment card is in the present position, and remember it's the overall energy for the reading. So this is telling me that in the present position, in terms of the relationship, you're beginning to see the light. You are seeing how you know things have transpired in the past and that maybe the things that have taken place in the past were just an illusion um, they weren't real right so letting go of that moving to calmer waters and then we got the ace of cups coming in the future and the feminine was actually bringing the ace of cups into the union so the ace of cups is being ready to receive love into your life you've let go of the past you've moved on so there's this new beginning coming from pain and you know it's it's kind of cool that we see this combination of cards um, through pain is illumination right only through deep sorrow can you really awaken 
And so we see that awakening into unconditional love, right? So there is healing happening here, but unconditional love is what is helping to heal the heart, right? It seems to me like he's ready, but the feminine's locking him out. Okay, so the challenge is the strength card, so the nine of fire, cool synchronicity, ace of fire, and the six of swords again. So the Nine of Wands actually showed up in the past position for the Twin Flame reading. So we got a synchronicity here. So feeling um, exhausted, feeling like you've been fighting for so long. Okay, so the challenge is to complete that cycle, to, um, to allow this Ace of Fire to come in and a new start. So the Ten of Wands actually showed up in the past position. So the masculine has completed this um, his journey and feeling exhausted right he actually collapsed in exhaustion and so from that ending is a new beginning so very cool synchronicity again the ace of fire was also a crowning energy that was shared between the two aspects so the challenge is to make this light a go light right so this is something that he's working towards and so the challenge is to be gentle and you know calm that defensiveness um, create a, a soft loving environment so the six of swords is in the future so like I said it's the same card that was coming in in terms of how he views the relationship so um, this may be just energy that the feminine feminine is projecting and um, it's gonna stay that way until the masculine actually um, makes an effort I think to, to reach out because remember that the message from the universe was to reach out, to be receptive, to be open. Okay, so three cards. So the two of pentacles. Wow, the six of cups and the two of wands in the future. So we got two twos. Now the six of cups showed up in the extended reading uh, in the heart space. So the masculine wanted reunion. Okay, so um, the message is, you know, if you want reunion, you need to be open to the feminine in 3D reality. Open that door, walk through that door, expand your consciousness. So repeated energy of awakening, expand your consciousness, uh, see the light. Now the two pentacles coming in the past position is a transition, right? So you're feeling unsteady, um, but that seed of intention is planted, it's growing, it's, it's grown into a firm foundation. Uh, there's still more work to be put forth, but um, we see that definitely happening because this is the final outcome for the Twin Flame. Alright, so I am going to pull one final card as Message from the Universe. What should I read from? Ooh, let's do Osho Zen. Always guaranteed to get a great final message. I think these cards might be upside down, so I don't read reversals in the Osho. Yeah, okay, so the burden, the Six of Swords. Remember it showed up twice. Okay, so burden. God, did I go right past it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. And where can you see it? There we go. Okay, so man's true life is the way in which he puts off the lie imposed by others on him. Stripped naked, natural, he is what he is. This is a matter of being and not of becoming. The lie cannot become the truth. The personality cannot become your soul. There is no way to make the non-essential non the essential. The non-essential remains non-essential and the essential remains essential. They are not convertible. And striving towards truth is nothing but creating more confusion. The truth has not to be achieved. It cannot be achieved. It is already the case. 
Only the lie has to be dropped. All aims and ends and ideals and goals and ideologies, religion and systems of improvement and betterment are all lies. Okay, so what I'm feeling very strongly is this philosophical question being asked, right? What is this all about? Looking for the deeper answer, but then realizing that the truth is already there. And so that's what he's awakening to, the truth. Um, okay, so let me just read that part again. All aims and ends and ideals and goals and ideology, religion and systems of improvement and betterment are lies. Right. Beware of them. Recognize uh, the fact that as you are, you are a lie, manipulated, cultivated by others. Exactly. Um, the Six of Swords is people accusing you of things, right? And so it's negative energy being projected towards you and then just walking away. You know, that's not me. That's not who I am. So remember, that's the card that showed up in how you view the relationship and it was also an obstacle in the future so there are stories that you are realizing are just lies they're not truth um, striving after truth is a distraction and a postponement it is the lies way to hide see the lie look deep into the lie of your personality because to see the lie is to cease the lie. To, uh, no longer to lie is to seek no more for any truth. There is no need. The moment the lie disappears, truth is there in all the beauty and radiance. In the seeing of the lie, it disappears, and what is left is the truth. Okay, so, you know, I, I talked about feeling like you're being oppressed that you're being locked out right that's all an illusion that you're waking up to see the truth see the lie okay and you know it's the truth of the lie just by the way it feels deep inside okay so that is a very beautiful reading very synchronistic for sure so I do hope this helped. Um, please like, subscribe, and share and comment. All right. Cheers. Love you.